In this video, I'm sharing the 8 things I won't miss when moving and downsizing from a house in the suburbs to an apartment in the city. There is one thing I will miss, stick around till the end to find out what that is. The lawn. I'm so not going to miss having a lawn. I'm a super tidy person and the fact that I haven't been able to keep my lawn tidy without weeds has been one of those things that have stressed me out. I've tended to it best I've could, but having shared the lawn with my next door neighbor who was never much into lawn upkeep on her side didn't exactly help. Good riddance. Hedges. The multitudes of scratches and scars that I still have from having cut hedges for the past 20 years of living in houses don't make up for the fact that they're nice to have for privacy reasons. I'll still get my share at my mom's house, but I won't have to tend to any of my own anymore. Hurrah! Noisy neighbors. I'm also not partial to nosy neighbors, but noisy are the worst in my book. When I moved into my house, it was a quiet neighborhood with lots of sweet elderly neighbors. These past few years, a lot of young families have moved in and it's drastically changed the vibe around here. It's all well and good if you're into that scene yourself with young kids, but when you're not, it's just not that great. One of the major reasons I'm moving, to be honest. Stairs. I will not miss all the stairs in my house. It's a split level house and there are stairs everywhere. The bathroom is even on its own floor with stairs leading up and down to it. The split level was what drew me into the house in the first place and I like the look, but in hindsight for practical reasons like carrying groceries up and down steps, vacuum cleaners up and down stairs, it's honestly not been ideal. Exterior upkeep. If you've ever owned a house, you know about the amount of upkeep you need to do all the time. Windows need repainting, siding needs to be scraped, gutters need to be emptied, etc, etc. The list is never ending, and if you do get to the end, you can start again at the beginning, because by that time, it's time to redo it all again. In the apartment, I'll be in charge of the interior, and the exterior is taken care of by the Tenants' Owner Association will not miss any exterior upkeep at all. The commute. I will not miss having to commute into the city for my weekend activities. My friends live in the city and it's been hard being spontaneous since it's actually taken me an hour to reach a destination and an hour to go home. I've had to plan ahead and bring everything I might possibly need for the whole day instead of just quickly nipping home to get an umbrella when it starts raining. Having all the space. I haven't used half the space in my house since my son Ville moved out and I became an empty nester. The whole top floor has basically been unlived in and the only thing I've done up there is chasing dust bunnies. The extra stuff. Having had a lot of space has meant having had stuff that's also been just sitting there. An extra sofa, two extra TV sets, coffee tables, rugs, light fixtures that have rarely been switched on the past couple of years. Can't wait to just have best of my belongings. So those are the things that I'll definitely not be missing when I move into the city. And the one thing I will miss? I've had a small group of neighbors that have also become very good friends that I will be missing. The four of us have had dinner clubs with themed dinners. Exotic or not so exotic in some cases, foods, beverages with matching decor and playlists. I will miss being able to crawl home the few meters after a Spanish night or a British tea party for sure. I do hope they will accept an inner city version and a taxi ride home after I move. If you like this video, I'd love a thumbs up as it helps my little channel. There will be more about downsizing, my move and organizing my new place in the city. So if you're interested, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when a new video is up. See you in the next one.